Hello and welcome back to our channel. I'm Colleen and this is Our Blessed Life. And today I'm just gonna talk to y'all about some family updates as well as some changes to our posting schedule and um, things like that because of kind of where we are in life at this point. Love changes every heart and many heart can change you. So if you've been uh, following our channel for um, the past little bit, then you would know that my dad died on May 18th. Um, after an extended stay in the hospital he was in the hospital for about a month before that and so we've been going through a really difficult time um with my dad's passing trying to help out my mom and just do all the things that need to be done um you know after a situation like that in the meantime gary's dad started having some problems earlier this year he had three strokes um and at the time that he had i think it was a third stroke they had determined that he had um that he had a tumor on his lung um, they didn't know if it was cancer or not at that point uh, because they weren't able to do a biopsy because of the fact that he had the stroke he had to he had to be on um, blood thinners and so it wasn't safe to do any sort of you know biopsy or anything that required him to have a surgery so they waited a while um, and eventually um, like a week or two ago they decided to do a PET scan and the PET scan would allow them to determine whether that tumor was cancerous and if it had possibly spread. So I don't know how many weeks it was between all of that but maybe a month maybe six weeks something like that. Um, in the time between the third stroke and the PET scan um, it was determined that he did have lung cancer um, the lung cancer is stage four um, in addition to that it has metastasized to his bones and lymph nodes so it's a really bad diagnosis um, at this point yesterday um, the decision was made uh, by the family and the doctor that that really there wasn't any treatment that would be successful, would only just make him miserable, and so the decision was made to bring in hospice. So um, my dad had been on hospice um, in May, and now Gary's dad has just been put on hospice um, as of yesterday. So the day of the recording of this video is June 15th, and this is like the first full day that he's been on hospice. Um, Gary's dad's name is Sam and we would appreciate your prayers for him as well as Gary's mom um, who whose name is Gail um, it's just been a really hard time for us um, so we're gonna be doing a lot of back and forth where they live is about three and a half hours from us and so I'm just not sure if we will get videos posted when we normally do. Um, we're definitely not gonna be on our three video a week schedule and um, there may be some times when we're just, we just don't feel like doing it. So um, we are just gonna post when we can and I hope that y'all will understand that. Um, our normal schedule is Sunday at one and Wednesday and Friday at 9 a.m. Um, but I just don't think we're gonna be meeting that. Um, this week this video will go up on Wednesday and I have one other video that I believe will go up on Friday that's part of a um, partnership um, and then I know that we will not be posting on Father's Day um, I would also appreciate your prayers for Gary um, this is obviously a really difficult time for him and his family um, Katie is also having a really difficult time with this as you can imagine you know realizing that she's going to lose her second grandfather um it's just been really hard it's just i feel like we have been kind of in crisis for you know a couple of months now so my dad when he first went in the hospital it was the end of april and um just as soon as um we are starting to kind of catch our breath again um now this is all happening with Sam. Now Sam's been sick for a while and things kind of had continued to get worse and so we were all wondering if you know was that tumor 
the situation had he had another stroke or whatever. Um, but and that's kind of what's going on with us. And um, like I said, I'd appreciate your prayers. Um, right now, Gary is at his parents' house and I think we're planning to go back up there um, tomorrow. It's kind of hard to know where to be, you know, where we should be. And, you know, we don't want to kind of crowd them since he's going to be in hospice at home and there are other people visiting. So, um, like I said, we're so far away that it is, it's much harder. My dad was actually in the hospital in Hilton Head where we live and so it was much easier to get back and forth. And so for us to go up there, it's a seven hour round trip by the time we get back. Um, but at the same time, I want, um, we definitely want to be able to see him while he's able to talk and um, still knows us and all of that kind of stuff because right now he is when my dad went on hospice, he was just immediately sedated and just never spoke again. And, you know, we talked to him and we hoped that he could hear us, but we didn't know for sure. Um, but with Sam, he is not to that point yet. and He's still able to communicate. And um, so we're hoping to be able to spend some time with him in the next few days. And, um, you know, before he does have to be sedated more for pain. Right now his pain has been minimal and um controlled so anyway so this video was just to kind of let y'all know what's going on ask for your prayers if there's anything that we can pray for y'all for please let us know in the comments below and we will be seeing you soon we love y'all bye